More help is on the way for employees concerned their business isn't doing enough to stop the spread of COVID in their workplace. The Department of Labor today announced new guidelines that will be enforced by OSHA, and it comes after reporting you saw here on Fox 13 back in November and other news reports since then. Fox 13 investigative reporter Nate Carlisle joins us now with the new details. Nate. In the first 10 months of the pandemic, there were thousands of complaints from workers, but OSHA conducted only a few inspections and issued even fewer citations. These new guidelines come from OSHA a, it comes to a week after President Joe Biden signed an executive order telling the agency to create them. In the coming months, workers in Utah could benefit from what was put in motion today. I'm happy to see that uh, come out of this administration. That, Jeff uh, Worthington is the president uh, the, of the Utah AFL-CIO. He says some of his union members have been pressured to go to work when they should be home. Some of our larger corporations are, um, were punitive to the uh, employees that I represent, you know, making them go home without pay not uh, reimbursing them for the time off. The new guidelines from OSHA announced Friday say employers should assess the COVID-19 hazards in their workplaces and find control measures, adopt policies that encourage potentially infected workers to stay home, communicate the policies to workers who don't speak English, and protect workers from retaliation if they do report pandemic hazards. The message from this administration is that protecting your workers is mandatory. The guidelines are just that. These are not rules or laws, but they do spell out to employers what's expected of them. And that's a good step, says Peg Seminario, the former health and safety director for the AFL-CIO. How is this going to be enforced? Well, these guidelines won't be enforceable. They are they are basically uh, voluntary uh, recommendations. But hopefully what we will have very soon is a standard that lays out and takes these recommended actions and makes them mandatory. OSHA is supposed to decide in the next few months whether to turn the guidelines into enforceable rules. The state of Utah runs its own OSHA office under federal oversight. The spokesman for the Utah OSHA office last year said lack of clear federal rules is a reason why it has issued few citations. The rules and rules and regulations on the state and federal level regarding COVID, they just, there, there aren't any yet in place for us to follow. We reached out to OSHA for a comment today. The spokesman for the Utah office declined to comment because the office was still reviewing those guidelines. Kelly and Max. Wow, Nate, do you think we'll start seeing more citations and fines to businesses who don't follow rules by the book? Probably we'll see those soon. One question remains, what about the fines for those citations? Right now, there's been cases where multiple workers have died from outbreaks at a particular workplace, and the fine only amounts to a few thousand dollars. Wow, Nate, keep us updated on this. Thanks so much.